to make it out of this state. And welcome to Virginia. We out. <laughs> we are in another state doing our full time adventures. Stay tuned. You're good with the tree. Okay, kind of start to cut now. Okay. Right. You're good. You got the trees fine. You come on, come on back. You're good. All right. What about the other side? You good, come on. Okay. As long as you turn it like that, you'll be okay. Okay. All right, now do I need to, to get straight? Do I need to turn straight? Yeah, uh, yeah, go turn straight. Straighten up a little bit. No. Come on back. Uh-huh, come on back. You're good. Okay. You okay with the tree? Oh yeah, yeah. you're good okay. Yeah. Come on back, you got it. Before you drop that thing like you've been dropping for more than 10 days. All right, you want to stop and look? Yeah, let's stop and look. Okay. okay. We got in here pretty good. We're at F27. I think we're in pretty good. Yep, and it's got a little patio. All right, so this is Davis Lake. And it got a little lake out here. So we're gonna go ahead and get set up and get everything straightened out so we'll see y'all in a little while so you guys we have arrived at Davis Lake and it is a very unique park as you can see the lake behind me and we are right up over there on that corner got a good spot and so we're just taking a little walk around it is a you know we've seen some different campgrounds in our travels and this one has just like i think a lot of them are becoming now which i would call hybrid campgrounds so you got some full-time long-term seasonals, seasonals then you got folks like us that are traveling, all mixed up together. But that, I guess, if you have variety at your camp campground, the campground owners probably say, "Hey, that's that's how we stay. That's how we stay in business, so to speak." But we are here, and we're gonna check it out. 
It's so, really a big campground. I mean, it is. There are a lot of, uh, <clears throat> like he said, stationary lake homes. Yeah. Out here. Like. Uh, or lake campers. Lake camp, yeah. And, and, and right now, one, two, what would you say, three different little, little lakes? Lake area, yeah. Yeah, back over there, there are houses all back over, I mean, not houses. Yeah. Uh, well, campers. Campers yeah. back yeah, over there, in. little cottages. You can get your tanks filled here. Have a, a area in the lake that they call the aqua slide, and it looks like an obstacle course for water. <laughs> but it's closed today. We are out this morning, guys, getting our little walk on. And we're going to do it before it gets hot. It's supposed to get hot today. But we're we too late. Yeah, we're too it's late. It's 9 o'clock, and it's already hot. Yeah. But we're out here anyway. We're out here anyway. As you can see, we are leaking a little bit because we just finished the... How many? How far? We did two miles. We did a two mile walk this morning. And uh, it is nice. It's not hot, hot, but it's gonna be hot today. It's humid, humid yeah. here. But uh, as you can see, we're at Davis Lakes in Suffolk, Virginia. And uh, we are here for a couple of days. In fact, we leave tomorrow and we're going we're going, to, we're going to do something we've never done with this camper, which is go through the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, Bridge and Tunnel, which is going to be kind of interesting. 
because uh, we're tall. I'm, but I'm taking uh, Benadryl, so I won't know that we're going through anyway. Yeah, she she don't like bridges. I don't like bridges. And this one is 17 miles long. I've been over it many times. Yeah. That doesn't mean that I like it anymore. <laughs> and especially with a uh, F-350 and a 42-3. Go ahead and say 43 feet. 43 <laughs> foot trailer behind me. Yeah. So, it, you know, it's going to be interesting, but it should be fine. The weather is going to be nice tomorrow. Oh, that's a nice breeze. Yes, it is. <sighs> uh, but we want to come on it. We, we left in June. And it is now September. Mm, so wow. just we're going to try to do this really quick, a synopsis of our experiences so far. I want to say that I, I, I kind of knew this, but I want to say we have really discovered that uh, we are all alike. We have been to all kinds of family functions and all kinds of uh, other functions. We've been to uh, Quinceañera. Uh, we've been to two, three funerals. <laughs> we've yeah. been to some family reunions and birthday parties, birthday parties, anniversary parties. Yeah, but we are all alike. We all want the same thing, no matter what your uh, nationality is. I'm, I'm right. gonna, I don't like to use race because we're all one race, but our nationalities are different, and so our cultures dictate a lot of times how what we do. Mm -hmm. But in this, I found that all, all of us want to celebrate. Right. That is the thing. And we all are um, family oriented. Right. Fa family is the most important. And and whether that doesn't matter whether it's your immediate family mm -hmm. or your extended family, because sometimes people don't have as big a immediate family, but their right. extended family. Like ours, our extended family, man, we we now realize how big our extended family is. Yeah. From uh, church, yeah. from our our community relationships, from where we have lived in the past. And you guys. And you, uh, just get rid of it. You beat me to it. Oh, I beat you to it. You beat me to yeah, it. Yeah, because we call you family. Yeah. And in our heart, you are family. You are family. Yeah. So. Uh, that's that's one big thing that we've that we've learned, uh, and it's that has been just awesome to see because we went to where we just left from. Uh, You're leaking all I'm, over the I'm place. leaking all. The, <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Makeup. Well, we, <laughs> we just left um, Rocky Hop near Edenton, and it was amazing because. This little campground, they have a, a thing called David's Red Barn. Go back and take a look at it. Uh, but David's new Red Barn, new red barn. Uh, is is there on the property, and it is a little venue. And every Friday night, these teenagers get together. and 70-year-old. <laughs> 70 70-year-old 70 well, teenagers. Let's say senior teenagers. Yeah, senior they, teenagers. They're not all 70. Yeah, but I bet you the average age was 70. Uh, but they get in there and they have a live band. There were there was a ten, either either nine or ten piece live band of volunteers who got in there and they played music, live music, sang and everything. And just about every song, somebody was on the floor dancing, mm -hmm. uh, if not all. And you didn't have to have a partner to be out there dancing. No. You just get out there and dance all by yourself. Like, like I said before, it reminded me of high school. <laughs> but it was it was amazing because what do they want to do? They want to celebrate. They're celebrating life, basically, mm -hmm. and their friends that they hang out with on Friday. So uh, that is those are some of the things that we have experienced so far. Uh, those are some of the things that we want you to know about. Okay. We put out a monthly newsletter. So if you have not um, signed up, on our email list to get our newsletter, please do that. Go to our description and or down below somewhere <laughs> and we will put it our uh, how to get a copy of our newsletter. And to all of you who have already subscribed to our email, we really appreciate it. We hope you've enjoyed what we've put out so far and we'll continue to read about and follow all of our links. Okay, guys, now we have memberships uh, on our channel. 
So if you want to be a member, just go on the, the main page of our channel. And down there in the writing, I guess it's just below some pictures and all, it says join. So click that join button and you can become a member. We have two levels. We have the road crew and we have the trailblazers. You choose which one if you would like to be a part of that and you will see the perks that come along with it. So guys, I'm gonna give you a little sneak, not a sneak peek, I'm gonna give you a peek of the site that we're at. Now, this is a back end site and you have to be aware of that tree. Then you need to pull way, way up there and back in if you get this site. It is on the end. And if you have a back window, you have a view of the lake. So we are at site F27. Got a lot of space on this side. But it's a nice spot, a really nice spot to park the truck. And we're right here on the end near the little cabins. If you're familiar with this. But it's nice. Wasn't too bad backing into, so don't get too concerned. Just be careful. You got, you'll have plenty of folks to help you get in. And we have water, sewer, and electric, 50 amp, 30 amp, and 20 amp. So that's the tour of our site. So guys, when you get here, you check in at the office right here. They got a little shack that you can uh, check out or all visitors must report to the main office. So this is where you check in at. And you check in and the check-in process was really, really easy since we already had our reservations. And that's it. Now, one thing we've noticed, if you look right over there, is the highway. And you do get a little highway noise, um, but it's not bad. And then once you get in the camper, of course, with the air conditioner running, you don't get hardly any. But we are right next to the highway. Okay, you remember me saying that the we were right next to the highway? See this? Uh, I guess it's a noise barrier that you see in a lot of places. Uh, that's it. The highway is on the other side of that. But it's not too bad. And there's a beautiful, beautiful stand of oaks that shade where we are during, you know, just like any other time. During certain parts of the day, kind of reminds me of Tanglewood that we stayed at.